We are here at Intelligent Automation Week talking to leaders, innovators, change makers, and industry influencers. As you look at the industry and the trends you're seeing, what do you see on that next horizon that we should all be keeping an eye on? I think we're going to see where generative AI goes. I think we're going to see more and more um, applicable use cases. And I think, you know, as we advance, we're, we're going to be more hopefully focusing on the machine learning and the transformers and, and where it can get smarter. You know, how can these processes and technologies grow with the business and grow with those needs. Generative AI is top of mind for everyone these days. I mean, you see it on all the boards across the conference these days. Uh, it's, it's the two-letter, two-word acronym that's being added on. Look, I think there's tr tremendous promise in generative AI, particularly when you look at um, you know, large language models and transformer technologies underlying it and how generative AI marries with automation. We've seen this marriage of carbon humans and silicon AI, the longest marriage ever, but we're now starting to see some very interesting uh, use cases that are coming out into the market. Uh, use cases that um, were perhaps not possible only about 12 months ago. We're starting to see LLM models emerge within organizations. We're equally seeing the hesitancy from organizations around security, around compliance, around the use of their data. And data, interestingly enough, is becoming more and more central to this whole discussion about generative AI. Majority of the people that I talk to are deploying or exploring generative AI. I think there's probably about 12 to 15 percent of the automation audience around the world that is now starting to use generative AI. And I think within the next six or nine months, we're going to see a significant progression on that. As I look at, at what we're going to see in the next two years, I think, we're going to see documents really begin to be mastered. I think we're going to see uh, some of the AI tools kind of come in and be useful for narrow and specific parts of that. Um, and then using you know, data is finally a real conversation yes. as we look at using process mining and task mining to pull the data out to use get real-time next best action predictive analytics out of models. So we're looking at generative AI as a technology of a generation to really be able to accelerate and transform uh, automation through with AI. It's clearly very exciting technology and the progression that it's made just in the last few months, it's been astounding. I, I tend to take a very cautious approach to new technologies as a rule. Um, I think for as many benefits as you can get, there are some things that you've got to pay attention to and look out for. The important thing is, is that people understand that they still have to do some measure of control, they've got to have some policy around it, uh, and they have, to, they have to verify the facts in some cases. Uh, that, that the technology is generating.